Morning, Sim fans. Um, Racing 393 again and again on Automobilista. This is becoming... It's such a fiddly process. Um, I've done that stupidly long capture yesterday. It was just over an hour. I mean, I'll, I'll keep this one down nowhere near that long. I haven't got that much time today. But um, what I'm going to do is go through some bits and pieces with you regarding the Formula Vintage. They've got two great um, vintage F1 cars, if you like. They've got like the uh, the Formula Retro, which I'm guessing. I mean, if we if we go into them, um, I don't know if it says the year. Might do. But looking at the car, awesome car. I mean, they're probably, oh, the 70s, there we go. So a bit like the old Skeletrix shadows. I don't know if you have everyone that's listening is from that era, but the old figure of eight Skeletrix. I think it was called Skeletrix 200, but it had two of these cars, black and white. Awesome. Now that, those cars, I mean, the detailing on this game is incredible. And they're great fun to drive. I might do one on them as well. But what we're going to do today is is the Formula Vintage. Um, we'll go into that and we'll just pick. They've got two different, actually, they've got two different variants of this. Um, they've got like 1967 and 69. So the 67 is kind of, you know, traditional looking, you know, at the era of the film Grand Prix, which is one of my favourite eras of F1. Um, I think they look brilliant, these open wheel, tip, um, quite typically basic engineering for the time, great sounding cars. Um, Lots of horsepower for what they were. Very light, no grip. Um, it's how Formula One should be. And then, what we're going to do today is the 1969 version. So we're just going to that. You can see they seem to sprout small wings uh, to give a little bit of downforce. Um, again, loads of power. Uh, it's a V8. So the, I think the previous ones said they were like V12s. Um, again, they sound good. There's not still not a lot of grip. Engineering slightly improved. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to be testing these ones out today. I particularly like the callover shocks at the rear. You can see that car just, you know, you can see, I'm going to zoom in there. No, so you can see there, look, the little shock absorbers go below it. I mean, that is a great, a great looking ren sort of render, I suppose is what I'm looking for. Um, and funny enough, it's almost my colour schemes, those that know me. I mean, you can't fault that. For a racing car, that is a awesome. Like, you've got to congratulate uh, Reza for the amount of effort and work that he put into this. The detailing, when you look at it, is absolutely incredible. So we're going to be doing the uh, the 1969, um, and I'll, I'll keep I'll keep that colour scheme because it's not my colours. And the track, which I think we'll try today, is another famous race circuit, Imola. The game's now got variants of this one. We've got 1972, we've got 1988, 2001. 2016. Uh, that's obviously ones with no chicanes. Um, you got that one there. They started to put a few chicanes in. You can see where they sort of sprouted up. So 
Sorry, I thought I heard the door knock. There we go. So, yes, so all the chicanes sprouted up. 2001, 2016, some of the chicanes are gone again. It's a shame, they need this one back in Formula One, I think. Um, but what we'll do today is we're going to be doing the uh, 1972 version, um, which kind of leads me on to a few bits and pieces about this track, uh, just, just for information purposes, really. Um, it, it's sort of basically arrived in 1953. It's been around years. I didn't realise we were around that long. Um, it's in the sort of the northern part of Italy, I suppose. Um, the top half. Uh, I think it's Bologna or something. Bologna? How do you? I, I, I can't. I can't remember. I think it's 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 not far from Marinello. I, I know that. I didn't mean it's. Belong is it's actually east of that. I've just looked it up on the internet as I'm speaking there. But anyway, if you if you if you remember, um, it's quite famous for many things. Some some pretty bad things. Um, we go back to one of the famous corners. You can see, you can see there on the graphic there. We got that corner there. In fact, it's pretty quite famous. The Tamburello. Um, Famous for all the wrong reasons, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a f maybe not in this era in these cars. I don't know. Um, I, I, going by the game, probably not. But it's a flat-out sort of left-hand corner um, in 19. Let me think. I, there's a couple of things that spring to mind. 1986 or 87 might be 87. I remember Nelson PK having a bit of a spill there. It wasn't in the race, but it was practice. I remember, uh, I remember reading about it. Actually, it's, been, it's probably before internet, so I, I must have read that in the newspaper. I know you missed the race that year. So it's 86 or 87. Uh, in 1989, I remember this one, so I got this one on video. Uh, a good old friend, Gerhard Berger, crashed his Ferrari there. Hit the wall when it had just a small run off and a solid wall. Um, well, I think it's still got that. I mean, the other side of that Tamburello is just, it's like, I don't know, is it like, from memory, it's like a lake or something there? So they can't actually move it. So it, it is what it is. But Gerhard crashed his car in Ferrari after the uh, front wing failure and slammed into the one, caught fire. Very bad. I mean, he was very lucky. I mean, I remember seeing that and it was, it was live on BBC at the time. It was ridiculous. He survived that, but he only missed one race after that. Because he ate, he burnt his hand. Um, and apparently, another one that I I read about this actually uh, last night. But um, Alberto, Michele Alberto, had a crash there at Tamburello, uh, testing his footwork arrows, but didn't get injured. Um, another one that had a crash there in, in about 1992, Ricardo Patrese, and he was in his Williams, and he was testing. So the, the track, being where it was. Italy, um, back in those days, they used to test the cars before the seasons, um, season started, so they've obviously restricted that nowadays on for cost reasons, but yeah, interesting. And then moving on to probably what it's infamously famous for, unfortunately, 1994. Um, I don't think it's ever been called the Italian Grand Prix, to be honest, although it's in Italy, but the San Marino Grand Prix is what it's best known for. Uh, 1994, we all remember uh, Friday practice with Rubens Barrichello. Um, the, the corner, I've got a little map here. So the corner was called, uh, he launched himself over the curb, but Varianti Bassa. Um, and he flew through the air and hit the top of the, the tyre wall and then done a bit somersaulted. He, he obviously knocked himself out. Um, but he had to get medical attention because apparently, from what I can remember, he swallowed his tongue. And, you know, very lucky man. But that, that's the start of it all, that was. I mean, I saw that. I was actually... Uh, where was I? And I wasn't at home because I only just got satellite TV. I can remember being somewhere watching it in a TV shop and I saw that crash. Because it was live, it was unusual to have F1 live, especially practice on a Friday. That was unheard of. 
Um, yeah, and I saw that, and that was pretty tragic. And then Saturday qualifying, I was uh, again watching this. Um, I was home this time, and poor old Roland Ratzenberger, he was doing reportedly over 300k. And that bit, if you look at this, I've got the map here still. Um, this corner here, which is what was that called? That was called Vilna. I'm sure it's called Vilna. Uh, he was in a Simtech and his front wing failed and he's oh it was horrendous he's crashed into the wall there and yeah it was really bad I mean I don't really want to sort of go into too much detail because if you if you've seen it you know what I mean it wasn't very nice um he died instantly from a fractured skull that was instant that was horrid so that should have been the um you know you can imagine that if that ever happened nowadays 2016 can you imagine I mean they're probably two sides of this. They would. They don't race now, but it rains. I mean, what's all that about? However, something as serious as this, they'd probably ban Formula One, wouldn't they? Um, but yeah, that was terrible. And then we all know what happened on um, on to race day. Um, yeah, well, poor old Etten Senna. Um, on the Tamburello. Um, reportedly having steering failure. Um, so, yeah, it obviously, it was a very dark day in motorsport. Um, it's good that, I suppose, in some ways, that the Auto Ballista team have actually got this track back in the game now. So it's, you know, you can kind of use, because they've got different sort of years here, you can kind of match it with the sort of suitable vehicles of the time. Um, yeah, I mean, not very good, not ideal, but for historical reasons, I suppose it's pretty good. Now, so we're going to do a little bit of practice. I've, I've messed around with this. I've got some other settings, which I've been playing around with last night. Um, seem to have got it running reasonably well. Um, there's still a little bit of stuttering with the graphics, which I'm not happy with. I've changed a few things. Um, I think it might do. These, right, th these cars are really difficult to drive. You think I'll spin off in something more modern? You wait. I'm not really going to be... Um, I'll be honest with you. Those that remember Grand Prix Legends, they were hard. This is about as near... As you can get. So I won't go through all the settings I've done, but I've messed around with the false feedback. Um, I've got it to where I think it should be for me at the moment. So a little bit of practice. We'll see how we get on. I'll, I'll actually do a proper review. I'll try not to. <laughs> famous last words. I'll, I'll try not to crash. Um, oh, yeah, better look behind me, see what's there. Fire extinguisher, a few tyres. Quite a clean garage by the looks of it. Um, anyway, let's get this thing started. Okay. So, it's a great sounding car, V8. So it's here, this bit, there's a lot of rendering here, and you can see, you know, it's not, it's not the smoothest. So, that car's going to hit me, I think, is it? Now, if I pop over here, look, look over there, look, Volkswagen. That's quite good little detailing. Uh, I'm not sure what that other car is. I don't know what that would be. Two Volkswagens. Obviously, the recovery vehicle. And the ambulance. That's not very quick, is it? If that came rushing out here. I mean, I hope they've got more than one at the track back in these days. So, th I think I'm not stalled, actually. Not concentrating on doing that. Right, so. So you can see there, it's, you know, this, this track is kind of lined with Armco. So back in these days, it must have been ridiculous. I don't normally would go and check the internet to see who died, but I can imagine. And there's no runoff, there's no chicanes. 
So, can you imagine this track nowadays like this? It'd be just unbelievable. But we'll, we'll take it for a few laps round in practice. A few more Volkswagens there, but. So, this is a Tamburello. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you can see there, look. I mean, obviously, if we go to another later version, you'll see there's a little bit of runoff, but nowhere near as much as there should be. This is Villeneuve. I mean, again, flat out through here. Um, and then come to the chicane. I apologise for the stuttiness, stutteriness of the graphics. I suppose, you know, I could turn the, the graphics down, but I think they look pretty cool, actually. So, with these cars, I've got to use my heel and toe with my clutch. I'm just taking it around the track so that you can see the detailing on the track. Um, nice little champion sign there. Look, that's a bit retro, isn't it? Through that, this complex of corners is quite. This is quite good. There's a lot more runoff here, sort of in recent times. It's just nothing, just a curb um, and the barriers. I mean, now they've got a chicane up here somewhere that you would go through. Um, and we're coming down now to. I'm trying to think what where it was, where very anti Vassal was. I can't actually pinpoint it at the moment. Was it here? It might have been on the right there. And then you go around here. Or well, there was a chicane as you came round onto the main straight. I don't know where this guy's going. Was it here? Yeah, I, thought, I believe it might have been there. So you go off onto like a little bus stop. Very anti Bassa. Anyway, we'll try just a few laps. Great sound. This is Grand Prix Legends, but modern day. I like the way it kind of squirms around. And, the, and, and kind of the uh, overrun, the popping and banging understeer. So the, the AI I think will sort me now. <laughs> right, let's go and see if we can see what we can do. It's a crash. Well. Let's see what we can do. Let's hit the barrier again. I don't know if that's knackered my car. I don't know, I'll try it. I can't see it from here, obviously. I mean, it feels... face. So what I'll do, you know, go for like a little replay there look so you can see like the graphical details. In fact, if I go, Start again. Single race. Um, we won't practice this time. We'll go back in. So we'll, we'll try. I mean, can you imagine? I'm crashing. As it, well, I wasn't the only one. But can you imagine what a group of cars of these would be like? The AI doesn't seem to be very um, forgiving. And uh, 
Yeah, that'd be interesting. But these, these, this is this is Grand Prix Legends nowadays. I mean, I don't know when that game came out. It must have been. I don't know. In the nineties, obviously the nineties at some point. Um. But yeah, that 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 was groundbreaking then. So. You can imagine what that'd be like now. See, AI, what I'm going to do, I think I want to put the aggression down. I think that might be one of the reasons. Right, so let's try this without making an idiot myself. Again. Right. Some crowd in now, so that might uh, make it jutter some more. Imagine having the people that close to the pits. Ignore the red line. Through Tamborello. There's no way in these cars this would be flat out. I'd be surprised. A bit of concentration now. Track in ultimate, um, sorry, in a Sato Corsa, the more modern version, and um, I think a lot of it is I might be trying to drive these cars like modern Formula One cars, and they're just not going to get around these corners at the speeds that you think they might.
car's got no grip. I'm exactly the same as I did last. So if I pushed replay, I'll just look at some of the replaying that we've got. Um, it looks, it looks awesome. It sounds awesome. I love the way the car pitches around. You see, the reason I've got no grip, I've got grass on my tyres. I don't know if that's just a glitch or... Yeah, if you look at that, it's... Well, I can... But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's... I like whether the driver's head's kind of... Looks, um, it sounds amazing. The graphics, you know, I know they're basic, but they do what they need. They, it does what it's meant to do. It looks right. The, the era looks fine. Um, and it seems to be in stone. I know the cars are going to be really identical. I suppose I'm not sure because I'm going to have a different ground engine. There we go, so that's where I crashed. A little bit of clipping there with the graphics. It did knock the suspension off. But that looks, I mean, that graphic there, with behind the car there. So we'll go back in, um, come back out. So, what am I trying to do? Here? the session and just by the fact of I got out there it doesn't put me last so that would be interesting Next session the race yeah it still kept me oh, it has mixed the grid up a little bit I didn't realize that it's got 67 and 69 so it has done what I said we could do you can add AI or get AI off, so you have to highlight them, I guess, and boot them out. So this is technically a 10 lap race. We'll just go, if I crash, I'll, I'll give it, that'll be it. I'm not going to start messing around, but this is basically a review on this particular mod, these cars, on this 1972 San Marino track layout. So, gives you a few sort of renders there. That's the all-nerve on the left. Uh, I'm not sure the name of these corners. I haven't got the card in front of me now. Um, yeah, that's coming to the end of the, the track. And there's the start line. Very atmospheric. Right. Start the car. So this is a formation map. Which is, you know, this in itself. This will be the only lap I do without hitting anything. I mean, they are going around in formation. I mean, back in the day, I'm wondering if they did rolling starts or touch starts. I seem to remember them rolling up to the grid and um, kind of almost not stopping the going. So front pole man or the front grid was kind of just about creepy. There was no none of this like it is now. Um, and then the, the, the flag man would drop the flag. Which is another interesting point. I'm wondering whether they'll have lights or a flag man. Now in 1972 I very much doubt there'll be lights or the, although the pit lane has lights in it. I don't know exactly Those doesn't really matter. 
but I can tell you now, even a roll in that at this pace is hot. Um, you can see there the car in front of me is the older type, 1967. Uh, there's a few other cars there with the wings on, so yeah, mix and match. Nascarish, isn't it? We are going in formation. This would happen though, wouldn't it? They'd go around one behind the other. And then form a form like formation on the on the grid. Imagine doing this. If it crashes the lawn, wouldn't they? Even in this almost now. Back in the day. I don't I don't I don't think this is gonna go anything past the start. I just sense it, there's gonna be a mayhem. If you don't go, you're going to get rammed. If you do go, you're going to get you're going to follow somebody in. I've got a use my clutch, remember? Heel and toe. That in itself is a... Uh, <coughs> that's an art. It's going to try. Are we going? Are we going? Are we going? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, didn't, I wasn't at the driver's briefing, clearly. I mean, I'm in gear two. Stop, that stop. This is going to be a rolling start, surely. This is dicey. This car is quick. Good hit, that wasn't me. Jesus. Not the camera, though.
be interesting to see what the other variants are like. Maybe try an according, you know, a different car for its era. Because it, you know, this game has got modernish form of one cars. So we'll try that as well. So we'll compare these together. You can sort of watch them back to back. So down to Tamburello again. We're in fifth. So we'll try. off in this way, you can't get around there flat. And this is going to be dicey, so I'm going to move over to this side of the track. So I have a heel and toe, I'm not going off. Absolutely amazing, an amazing world. You can play this forever. You don't need anything else. And all the other games that I've got, and I think this is in a minute. You know, the, the mods and download content you've got to pay for. Um, there's plenty of content you cannot possibly get bored. I think one of the main things you've got to you've got to mess you've got to mess about a lot with the settings. Going to struggle. Obviously, you've got to have a win. Um, there's a lot of graphics that you need. There's me spinning. I did. Uh, yeah, you want a reasonable PC? I've got a GTX 970 back to Detailing. I bet that's a human gearbox, by the way, as well. Um, yeah, well, I like that. Um, I've exit to monitor. Um, I can slow. Well, I'm 
might quite well enjoy some of them doing this. You know, some of these, um, these balls. Just like that. Just appreciate the detail. But anyway, I'm just sort of digressing, I'm sort of playing around. Because I've offered this all day. I mean, uh, yeah, so overall, Ultimate Ballista, definitely worth buying. Definitely. If you haven't, if you've got a PC and you're into your racing, why haven't you got this? Um, I do realise I'm already up to um, 41 minutes. I, I don't, without editing, I don't know, I'm going to have to sort this out because this is like, might be a bit too long. You know, I, an hour of your life nearly watching and listening to me ramble on and stuff. I don't know if you're going to get anything out of this. But um, I apologise if, if it's too long. I'll try to keep it interesting. Uh, but yeah, so if you've got a PC, uh, get this game. I mean, the, the download content's not very much. It, it, it's so much, and they're constantly trying to update it. Uh, I'll, I'll do another review, or perhaps maybe try the other Form 1 cars, you know, that's sort of from the 70s. Um, but, I mean, it would, it would technically go around this track again, I suppose, if you want to keep it real. Um, and we can perhaps work our way through some F1 cars, well, kind of F1 cars of what they're trying to replicate, like the, the old V10s, V12s, the groove tyre sort of brigade. So we can work away for it if you like. So if you want more of that, let me know. Um, also, if you want some settings or some ideas, you've got like your Fanatec wheel and that, if you want, I've got these CSL Elite. Um, if you want any settings that I'm using, I'm still tweaking them as we speak, so they're not absolutely perfect but you get good feedback for this for the steering wheel that we've got um, I, I desperately have got to get, get on to the getting this fanatic um, gear shifter sorted because I'm going to sell my Thrustmaster one soon TH TH8P is it? I can't remember what it's called now but Again, I don't actually feel you can't, you can't have a race game and not have a hedge pack. You can't do these with panels. I mean, you, I would, if I, if I had to, I would, of course, but it takes a really little while. So, I think we'll call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed it. This game looks awesome, it sounds awesome, this one is brilliant. Um, and I'll see you on the next one when I do perhaps in the 1970 F1 cars. So, Sort of the Latin part, or the middle part of like the Jackie Stewart era, okay. the most dangerous era of F1 racing. If there, if there ever was, if this wasn't dangerous enough, I mean, was, the 70s was diabolical. It was a driver dying every year, wasn't it? So we can go through some bits and pieces. Um, there's, uh, this is, I'd just like to say, this is pack one of the historic tracks. I'm guessing they've got other ones in, in mind, which would be good. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, give me a thumbs up or a like or dislike. Let me know what you think. All right, cheers.